Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the power of creation. The channel where I'll teach you how to... What the... Hey! Can you do me a favor and remove those blank spaces? Uh, uh. What's wrong with you? Yeah, well, it's just too many of them. Don't have time for that. Welcome to the power of creation. My name is Sebastian and today I will teach you how to remove blank spaces in your Adobe Premiere Pro sequences in three different ways and also explain to you when to use which one. Alright, here is a project I'm working on. Now, before I even start putting it all together, I usually put all the footage which I intend to use into one sequence with ins and outs. This way I have everything I'll need in one place. Now, as I do this, the sequence becomes quite messy, since I'll keep dragging footage around so I can group them in some way, and really soon I get to something like this. You see the problem, I have plenty of blank spaces which I want to get rid of. Let's go with the solution number one. Let's get ready to number one. First way is also the easiest way, and works best when you need to get rid of only the few blank spaces or the really specific ones. You just right click on the blank space and choose ripple delete. And that's it. Number two. Now, if you want to get rid of all of the gaps in the sequence, you need to use close gap tool. You do this by selecting the sequence in your timeline. Go to sequence menu and choose close gap. Number three. The third way is more or less the same as the previous one. If you want to get rid of just a few gaps, but not all of them in the sequence, but still few enough so you don't lose your mind having to go through each one with ripple delete, you can select all the clips between which you want to get rid of the gaps and the same as earlier, go to sequence and choose close gap. And there you have it. Hmm. But I don't have the close gap option in sequence menu. Just update your software, man. Alright, here's a little bonus. The bonus number four. Now, if you're using older version of Premiere Pro, that is, older than Premiere Pro 12 from 2018, there is a hack you can do. Select your project window, go to File, New, Adjustment Layer and just press OK. When you have this layer created in the project, drag and drop it anywhere into your sequence. Now you just spread it out above every clip where you want to remove the gaps. It can also be through the whole sequence if you want to do it in a hole. Next you need to make sure you select all the clips except of the adjustment layer in the sequence. You can do this by grabbing the track select forward tool or by pressing shortcut A on your keyboard. Go to the beginning and click. Then unselect the adjustment layer by first selecting the select tool with shortcut V and clicking on it while holding shift. Now you'll need to drag and drop the clips into the adjustment layer. Once you've done it, now this is really important. Don't click anywhere and drag them back to the original position. Let's press A again for track select forward tool. Go to the track where the adjustment layer is and click in the beginning while holding shift. This will only select the clips in this track from this point forward. And now just right click and choose ripple delete. Voila, there you have it. Although I suggest you just to upgrade to the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Whoa, nice man, thanks. Okay, that's all from me for today. Make sure, nah, I won't ask you to subscribe, it's my first video on this channel, so yeah. If you're watching this in the future, there will be more, so go ahead, check out the channel and 
if you find anything interesting then maybe subscribe yes 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 peace and see you in the next one